Now, the big rage all today is all, all about generative AI and obviously ChatGPT and Dolly and some of these tools. What is Red Hat doing to kind of provide a platform for, on which you can actually run generative AI? Excellent. So great question. Generative AI has taken over the span right now. Um, one of the bigger challenges for generative AI is around large, the complexity of training those large models. So what we provide with Open Data Hub is Project Codeflare that allows a data scientists to use their very familiar Jupyter Notebook to create the infrastructure that's needed to run large models. So one of the complexities of running large models is understanding the underlying infrastructure. And that's really difficult for someone who's a data scientist who may not be as familiar with Kubernetes and the cloud world. So what Codefire SDK does is allows them to use a few commands from the notebook that spans up the entire environment, which will allow them to run a large language model space. And not only that, we also provide inferencing and tuning capabilities. So one of the value add for these pre-trained large models is to be able to take these models and apply them in other domain specific task activities. So you do that via prompt tuning. So we allow with Open Data Hub, we have projects SkyKit, Compositional AI Kit, as well as project TGIS, Text Generation Inference Service, which allows users to use APIs to prompt tune these pre-trained models and allows them to shift over to task specific activities. Perhaps a model was trained for manufacturing and you can shift this to pharmaceutical by using a prompt tuning approach. And, and lastly, most you don't get any value out of a model unless you can deploy an infer from it. And the way you do that is you use text generation inference service in Open Data Hub, which is managed and controlled by a project called KServe and Model Mesh, which allows users to take those models, infer them in a very simple way and get value benefit out of it so that you can ask the model a question and get the answer back that you wanted to see that answer back as. And some of the activities that we're doing along with uh, IBM for developing the infrastructure stack is actually trying to, to, to fine tune those models and provide a platform for fine tuning those models as well. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more around the work that's from an engineering's point of view, what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis with IBM to kind of create this infrastructure? We have actually a collaborative project called Codeflare Project, which consists of three different components. Uh, it's the Codeflare SDK, has the multi-cluster app dispatcher, and also the InstaScale. What it provides is like it provides the data scientists and administrators a way to manage several of these, or hundreds, if not thousands, of these workloads, AI ML workloads. And oftentimes, as we may all know, that we're always resource constrained when we're <laughs> trying to run this AI ML workload. So what Codeflare provides is a way to manage that quota management of resources and also manage the prioritization. Perhaps some teams will get certain quota, others not. And also, we don't want to use the resources when we're not actively training, right? Like that's usually a big cost to yeah. a lot of the companies or organizations. So what InstaScale does, it can um, instant instantaneously scale these resources for only the time being that we're training and then, then scale them down whenever we don't need them. So this provides this resource efficiency to organizations. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, and, it, and obviously built on OpenShift, you have the hybrid cloud nature of it. You can do it on-prem or in the clouds, depending on where exactly. the particular organization is kind of situated. And then finally, when we kind of take this project that we're actually working with to kind of provide the foundation for some of these um, models, what, what is the kind of the commercial aspect of it? How does Red Hat kind of bring this out to the public for people that really want enterprise-ready types of infrastructure? Yep, so we have OpenShift Data Science uh, that's provided with uh, OpenShift Container Platform, and it runs on hybrid cloud ways. It runs on uh, on-prem, it runs on uh, cloud, and, and we are also experimenting running it on the edge as well. So you can train a model in a cloud environment. You can deploy the model on-prem, or you can train the model on-prem and deploy it on cloud. It's your choice. You can do it whatever way works for you, for your workload, for your use case. And OpenShift Data Science provides a full platform that allows developers and data scientists to train the entire model uh, using a variety of Jupyter notebooks that we provide out of the box, very popular ones like TensorFlow, PyTorch, OpenVINO, they're all included with um, OpenShift Data Science today. And you can take those, train those models, use our data science pipelines to control the experimentation from, uh, from the beginning of the training all the way to the end to the execution, which is deploying of the model, and then use our KServe and model mesh uh, topology to deploy that model and monitor that model with a robust monitoring stack. Oh, excellent, thanks Tanim, thanks Selby, appreciate it.